Ladies and gentlemen, we are now into our number two. We're going to have a special report with Leanne McAdoo and Gigi Arnetta here in studio with us. Contrasting people that were out protesting and calling for the impeachment of Obama yesterday, part of a big national spontaneous uh, events uh, that were just started on the internet by spontaneous people just spontaneously hear about it and on their own volition go out and do it. So uncoordinated, I should say, and very successful. Thousands out in L.A., hundreds out here in Austin at scores of different events throughout the day. Looking at these people talking versus the majority of Austinites we talk to, if we go to trendy areas, which means mindless TV head idiot areas that are living in a fantasy land. If we go to fantasy land areas of Austin, it's like L.A., uh, they'll call for anything, banning water, arresting all gun owners, uh, and having the NSA spy on everyone because they, quote, have nothing to hide. In fact, we're going to play both their reports when they come in, but can we cue up that Miss USA contestant? Was, there was a bunch of them, but the one that said, I want to be followed and track what I do to make sure I'm safe. Uh, I, mean, I mean, we'll play that later. We're going to get, uh, get to the Dr. Khalid Muhammad clip since I mentioned it earlier. I don't want folks to think I'm, I'm making things up. And then we're going to go to your phone call starting in the next segment. But I was just getting into... Uh, the uh, prosecutor CPS types that are on uh, my YouTube comments uh, with the headline, Texas town uh, kills two-year-old because parents smoke pot. And it is. The town allowed it. The government did it. It was under state care. Bash the two-year-old girl's brains out. Uh, and you've got people in there. It's a minority, but they're in there viciously defending her death. And then you've separately got these uh, black Israelite types in there who are saying white people are all devils inherently and need to be uh, need to be uh, you know wiped out and that so what she's a white devil, I mean it it is just it 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 is just shows how all these people are in their own niche. Government dehumanizes a little girl, the, the white supremacists dehumanize a black person that's killed, the black supremacists dehumanize uh, uh, a little white girl because people can't handle the pain. I mean I mean I get why they do it. It's 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 a fool's errand. It's it's a it's a coward's avenue. But let's go to Doctor Khalid Muhammad, uh, debating Anthony J. Hilder about uh, killing the blue-eyed devils. Here it is. Why well, kill the women in South Africa? I said kill the women because the women are the military manufacturing center, and every nine months they lay down on their backs and reinforcement rolls out from between their legs. So shut down the military manufacturing. Center by killing the white woman. Why right? kill the elder crackers? The old crepit crackers in South Africa. How in the hell you think they got old? They got old oppressing and killing black people. Uh, the whole point is if, if anybody knew the real history of South Africa, it was the Dutch and the British and the French all killing each other constantly, getting allied with black tribes. Uh, and if you went in one of the wrong areas and were white into a white area, they'd kill you. If you went into one of the wrong black areas, you were black, the wrong tribe, they'd kill you. It's tribalism, folks. They act like it only comes from white people. And then you had this vestigial leftover of some of the rich white ruling class that had basically apartheid going on, which was a bad system if you have real equality. But the point is, now since they got rid of that, South Africa on record has collapsed into mass murder and total bedlam with the black tribes just killing each other 24-7. You're like, what are you saying, go back to apartheid? No, but you go out of one bad system into something even worse, run by a bunch of communists. And of course, it was the big diamond companies and the ultra-rich that wanted to be able to go into the Dutch and French areas where whites had gone in and, and, and set up their own areas, and they just took all that away and gave it to the big companies. And now the blacks have no jobs. I mean, it's on record, so you just, the Rothschilds just came in with De Beers, they'd already been there forever, and just got rid of their white competition. So, hey, there you go. Same deal. Hope you enjoy it. The Blue-Eyed Devils. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.